We're now joined by the franchise CP of Knicks Fan TV, also the putback with Ian Begley. Good to have you here. What are the biggest trends you notice from the Knicks six game win streak? Well, Maria, right now the Knicks are the hottest team in the East, and they're getting it done in a multitude of ways. Well, let's start with the defensive end. Over these last six games, the Knicks are the number one defense in the NBA, 12th overall. Over the last six, four out of the last six games, they're holding their opponents to under 100 points. Defensive rebounds are also part of your defense, and they are getting it done on the boards. Give credit to Mitchell Robinson and Julius Randle as well, and they've been an opportunistic defense. Last night against the Bulls, the Knicks had 13 steals, forced 20 turnovers, which led to 24 points. Now, on the offensive end, the big three is getting it done. Last week, it was Julius Randle who was carrying the load. This week, it was Julius Randle. Jalen Brunson had an outstanding two games in Chicago. R.J. Barrett is shooting the ball more efficient than he was to begin the season. But last night, they had a significant contribution from Quinton Grimes, who had a season-high 22 points of 5 of 9 shooting from downtown. And if he can be consistent in that area, he's going to make that Knicks starting lineup much more potent. Let's get into Grimes a bit more. He scored in double figures in four of his last five games. How does his emergence on both ends just change things for the Knicks? Well, Grimes fills a role that's very coveted in the NBA, and that is a 3 and D wing. It's going to be a guy who's going to draw the hardest assignment on the defensive end. In Chicago, it was Zach Levine. And on the offensive end, he's going to look to space the floor by being an efficient three-point shooter. And what that's going to do is it's going to open the offense up. It's going to create more driving lanes for the Knicks slashers and R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson. And that's the role that Quinton Grimes is filling right now. He started off out the gates a little bit slow to start the season. He was nursing a foot injury. But over these last six games, Maria, he's averaging 13 points per game on 50% shooting and 45% shooting from three. It's been really impressive. As for Jalen Brunson, he could have missed time with a foot injury. Instead, he had those 52 points over the two games in Chicago. How would you describe his impact in December? Worth every penny. Worth every penny since the Knicks acquired him. We weren't even sure if Jalen Brunson was going to make the trip to Chicago. Nevertheless, he finished in that miniseries with scoring over 50 points in the Knicks 128 to 120 overtime victory. Jalen Brunson accounted for 11 points in the extra period, and he's been delivering for the team in crunch time. All right. Well, the Knicks will look to improve to 10 and 6 on the road Sunday against the Pacers. CP, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks again.